Today is describe your relationship with your parents. My relationship with my parents. Hmm, where to start? Okay, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail because there's only so much like I wanna tell the internet. Um, sorry guys, but there are some things that I should keep private. I am a daddy's girl. That's the best way to explain my relationship with my parents. I get on incredibly well with my father. I think that my personality is more like my father's than my mother's. Just a typical daddy's girl. My dad's always been the one that I've taken after, the one that I've aspired to be like, the one that I've admired. And me and my dad have a very similar taste in everything. He's one of the reasons why I'm into the music I'm into today and he's just always been the person I've looked up to in my life. That's probably why I've got more boyish mannerisms and why I'm really cheeky and just generally a boy in a girl's body, really. I'd say that my little brother is a mummy's boy, so it kind of balances out, really. So yeah, that's pretty much my relationship with my parents. Um, without going into too much detail, I'm pretty sure that you guys can guess the rest of it. Um, me and my mum have never really um, got on incredibly well. It's like our relationship is constantly like this. Um, I don't want to explain to the internet too much information, so we'll leave that at that. Um, so I'm just going to tell you a story as to why my dad is awesome. When I was very, very young, I was in the car and I used to always pretend that I was a radio I was the radio basically and I would choose the songs and I would sing them instead of like actually playing them I'd be like hey this is Jess FM or Jessica FM or what I used to do was I used to say it was I was Radio 1 and Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana and then I would sing it really badly along with a load of other songs and I was very into Spice Girls at the time I'd always pester my father to put my Spice Girls CD in and yeah, one day we were driving on the M6, those of you from Manchester or whatever, you'll know where that is. And I can't remember where we were going exactly. And I was pestering my dad and I was going on and on and on, put my Spice Girls CD on, put my Spice Girls CD on. And my dad took the Spice Girls CD and you'll think this is mean now. He said, today is the day you're going to listen to real music. And he threw my CD out of the window on the motorway. Not only is that dangerous, but... Yeah, it, at the time I was not very grateful at all. I was very, very, very angry. But now I look back to it and it really has shaped me into the person I am today, just that one thing. And he threw the CD out the window and he put on ACDC. And voila, here I am. I think that my dad used to play rock music around me as a child a lot as well. Um, I'd often go into his room, I'd crawl in there and he'd be playing records and stuff like Metallica and Stiff Little Fingers and... Sex Pistols and all of these bands. At a very young age I would always crawl into my dad's room where he was listening to his music and I would avoid the kitchen where my mum would be listening to Madonna and Cyndi Lauper. Not that there's anything wrong with Madonna and Cyndi Lauper, but yeah, that pretty much sums it up. I'm a daddy's girl. But I'm pretty sure half of you would have already guessed that by now. My dad also gave me my first guitar. My dad also gave me my first beer. Um, I wouldn't say that he's the fun parent and that's why I like him even though he is pretty much the fun parent because my dad is incredibly strict but I really do admire the way that he's brought me up. Um, he's brought me up to never disrespect anyone. My dad's always brought me up to be very forward and honest with people. Um, he's also brought me up to appreciate other people's values but always argue my point across if I feel like I should stand up for something. My dad's always believed in me being a musician as well and he's always supported my music. I'd say it was probably difficult to bring me up at the time considering my mum and dad have never had a good relationship and my parents are now divorced of course. Despite everything and despite him working his little socks off because at the time he had a chippy and stuff and despite him basically being the unlucky one in the divorce, considering the main reason my parents divorced was my mother. Um, I won't go into too much detail with that. But considering all the shit that he's been dealt, I think he did a really, really good job at raising me. Um, and I really do appreciate everything he's done for me. That's enough for that, I guess. I didn't want to go into too much about it. I just wanted you all to get the gist of my relationship with my parents. I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Bye!